Hi, my name is Rabbi Tzvi Sinensky. I serve as the Director of Interdisciplinary Learning and Educational Outreach here at RKYHS, Great Kushner Yeshiva High School. And it is a tremendous pleasure to be sitting here today in the official Felix Rosen Torah Reference Library, which, uh, which you see behind me. And uh, it's really an opportunity for us to inaugurate what we are calling KTV, Kushner Torah Videos. And the idea behind this series, which is going to be a weekly one, is that we are blessed to have so many exquisitely talented educators, uh, Rabbanim Morot, here in the school, who dedicate themselves selflessly and with extraordinary talent on a daily basis to educate uh, our young people, to educate our students. And this space and this video offers us an opportunity a weekly chance for all of the Kushner community to learn just for just a minute or two with our incredibly talented faculty. So I'll be sharing just a word about Parshat Noach today, and uh, we look forward to seeing many more videos which will be available on all sorts of media, uh, from Kushner Connections to our website to social media, you name it, you can find it, and so uh, really incredibly excited about KTV. In this week's Parsha, Parsha Noach, God commands Noach, Tsohar Ta'ase Lateva, that when Noach constructs the ark, he should build a Tsohar. It's a puzzling word. What does it mean? And the commentaries in the Midrash actually offer two explanations for the meaning of this term. On the one hand, one explanation is that Tsohar refers to a precious gem, a margalit. The other view is that it refers to a window. Both presumably were intended to allow Noah to somehow manage to see during his time in the Teva, him to see his family, the animals, and all those who were inside, and yet it seems that there's something deeper that's going on. What's the difference? What is the deeper symbolism, perhaps, of there being a gemstone that shed light for the family on the one hand versus a window that allowed them not only to see light within the Teva, but outward as well? And what I'd like to suggest that actually is there's a profound dual symbolism here. And it speaks to everything that we do here in the school on a daily basis, and it speaks to this video series as well as we launch it. On the one hand, there's first and foremost that sense of the precious gemstone of the Margalit, of shining the light of Torah within our school, the inspiration for our students, our relationships with them, so that they can cultivate growth for themselves on a daily basis. And yet, at the same time, that growth, that commitment, is meant to be emanated outward with a sense of concern, of compassion, of engagement with community, with the wider world at large, the chalon, not only inspiring, enlightening ourselves, but sharing that with the world. And that's, of course, true of our mission and our passion for our students on a day-to-day -day basis, and it's also true of this video series in which we take the passion the talent of our own faculty, our own Divrei Torah, and we share it really with the entire world. We look forward to a wonderful year of KTV.